Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 16, Constructing Nets. Okay, so I've got my ruler here, and we're on the classwork opening exercise that says to sketch the faces in the area below, label the dimensions. So I'm going to try to draw this as accurately as possible as a net. So I'm going to start in the middle of my paper a little bit, and I'm going to draw this. I'm going to use the centimeter side, or actually I could measure this, and it goes, it's actually two inches on my ruler, and it says eight units. Okay, so if I draw a line that goes over to the two, okay, and I'm going to continue this way. And I'll pause the video in between each piece and see what I'm doing. Okay, so this is the front. So this here is the front, so I'm going to continue. Okay, there is the top. Here is the bottom. There is the right side that is 5 by 3. Here is the left side that is also 5 by 3. Okay, here we go. Finally, we have all of this net all folded out. Okay, so we have the top, bottom, left, right, front, and back, all color-coded so the opposite sides match. Okay, is that all they asked us to do? Sketch the faces, label the dimensions. So there they are. Okay. Exploratory challenge number one, rectangular prisms. Use the measurements from the solid figure to cut and arrange the faces into a net. Note all measurements are in centimeters. This is also a rectangular prism. So all I'm going to do is copy my net from the last page and change the values. Okay, so here is the net of this. We have the left side, that's 3 by 7. The right side... So this would be the front, I suppose. The front was 3 by 7. The right side is 7 by 6. The back side would be 3 by 7. The top would be 3 by 6. Now the back is 3 by 6, and the front is 3 by 6. Okay, so let me label this up the way this is laid out. If this is the front, it is 3 by 6. So let's call this the front. This is the right side, which is 7 by 6. This is the right. Then this 3 by 6 would be the back. And this would be the left side. And this would be the top or bottom, depending on how you looked at it. And this would be the top. Okay. B. A juice box measures 4 inches high, 3 inches long, and 2 inches wide. Cut and arrange all six faces into a net. Note all measurements are in inches. Okay, so here we have this juice box. Here is the net for the juice box, and it's all spread out. Now let's just try to determine which is which. Okay, the front of the juice box, if we were to do this, this would be the front. So this would be the right side here, the right side. This would be the bottom. This would be the back. So this would be the left side, and this would be the top. Okay. Next one. Let me just erase all this and get it out of the way. Part C says, challenge. Write a numerical expression for the total area of the net for part B. Okay. So if I put this back, if I put this back here, my formula is going to be surface area equals. Now if I do the front and the back, it, they are rectangles. They are these two rectangles here. So the surface area is 2 times the base times the height. And I'm just going to write here F and B for front and back. Then we're going to add. So we're just adding all these pieces up. So I'll make the red ones next. And this is the bottom. 
and this is the top. So there's two of them that are the same size, and they are base times height again, because they're rectangles. So that's the bottom and top. And then if I do the sides, right side, left side, these are the two sides, plus, and there's two of them, and they are rectangles, and that is left and right. So those are the six pieces where the opposites are, are congruent. So now I'm going to substitute in my givens. So the surface area is two times. Now the front and back are three by four, so it'd be three or four times three. Either way you look at it, I'll just do three times four plus, and then two times the two by threes, two times three for those pieces, plus two times two by four, two times four. And then when I calculate this, I get the surface area, surface area equals two times 12 plus two times six plus two times eight. So my surface area is going to be 24 plus 12 plus 16. And when I combine all these, 24 plus 12 is 36. 46 plus 6 is 52. And it is inches. So 52 inches squared. Remember, we're doing area, so it's inches squared. I'm going to write inches and inches all over here just to save time and space. But when you're done, just make sure you're labeling your solution what it should be. The area is squared. Exploratory challenge two. We have a triangular prism. Using the measurements from the triangular prism, cut and arrange the faces into a net. Measurements are in. Okay, so here's our net of this, where this is the bottom. This would probably be this side here, and this would be the one over on the other side we can't see. And this triangle here would be right here, and then the back is the one we can't see. So there is the net for that prism. Okay, exploratory challenge three, pyramids. Pyramids are named for the shape of the base. Use the measurements from the square pyramid to cut and arrange the faces into a net. Test your net to be sure it folds into square pyramids. Okay. Okay, this is what the net should look like for this one. It is a base of five by five, so it is a square for the base. And then if we fold each side down, there's one behind we can't see and there's one on the left side we can't see. This is what it would look like from an aerial view with the sides folded down. B, a triangular prism has an equilateral triangle for a faces. For faces, it's called a tetrahedron. Use the measurements from this tetrahedron to cut and arrange the faces. A net, all edges are four inches. Okay. Okay, so here is our tetrahedron. Um, this would be the base, and this side here would probably be this one here, and this side over here would be here, and then there's one on the other side that we can't see, and that'd be this one, and this is the bottom. And every single side is four. That is the end of lesson 16. Go to your problems and oh, by the way, smash the like.